You even bested Muse. Mila. You have seen enough now to grasp the hubris and cruelty that humanity is capable of possessing. And yet you still side with them? It is a duty that I, as Mila Maxwell, must fulfill. Interesting. You have defined your own duty, have you? I have, and in this mission, I am not alone. So you too have chosen to part ways with me. Maxwell? Go and live wherever you wish. It's no longer my decision. This is no cause for sadness, Maxwell. Even when separated, the bonds that tie us together cannot be so easily broken. This melody. Yes. Yes. No matter what happened, your heart was always so. Mila, why did you hum that tune? It just popped into my head. Like a feeling I couldn't put into words. I can only hope Maxwell understood what I meant by it. Thank you, Luger. Because of you, I understand my predecessor's side of the story now. Although, I didn't learn the whole truth about Mila Kresnik. She couldn't stand the thought of abandoning those left in Olympias to die. That's why Mila Kresnik wouldn't go with Maxwell to Riza Maxia. How so? Because the world Mila Kresnik dreamed of long ago is the same one we wish to create now. She couldn't flee to a world that offered salvation for only a select few. But in reality, I'm sure Mila Kresnik wanted to ultimately be with Maxwell too. So they could make their perfect world together. Jude. We've learned that our dream isn't a new one. People and spirits have been seeking it for ages. We have to make it come true. You're right. For Mila Kresnik's sake as well as our own. It's the lab. I better take this. You might not know it, but you're already walking ahead of me, Jude. That much is certainly true. But I know that I won't be around to see everything Jude will accomplish. I realize that's just the way it is, but I don't have to like it. Sorry. You okay? Yes. Is everything okay at work? Yeah, it should be fine. I guess it's up to us to carry the torch passed by Maxwell and Mila Kresnik. Hmm. We will put an end to Origin's trial once and for all. That one seemed more important than some of the others. Yeah. Here you got the fangirl. Okay. Luger, when my Maxwell dumplings go up for sale, you can use the proceeds to pay down your debt. Who's going to make them, you ask? Why, you are, of course. So we need to say that the cat is 
for ten dollars. Yep. Huh? It's for ten. So we just jump for ten dollars. The job postings sure are beneficial. Why, we could put in requests for all the world's finest foods. But then, I guess we'd have to offer a suitable reward for each one. This place is strong, Kitty. Uh, it's literally... We're ba this is basically it. They put all the side here. Come in here for a cat, that's it. Something troubling you, young miss? Perhaps it would help to talk about it. I haven't been able to text the Luna since. Yeah. Luna sends her text, but Elise doesn't even read them. Ah, I'm still upset about what happened with Exodus. I know I should move on, but I just can't get it out of my head. What would you do? that much courage. What matters is what you want to do, young miss. That's the problem. I just don't know. This is the DODA. We've detected a new fractured dimension. We've sent over the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. A new mission? Can we come too? We're sick of stewing in our own thoughts. A fine idea. Sometimes a little distraction helps the mind work through difficult issues. after you said you'd be late. I chanced to run into Miss Elise outside of town, so we decided to travel back here together. If you don't mind my asking, 
Why did you invite the young miss here today? Oh, I don't mind you asking at all. Ellie's father is coming home. It's been ages since they've seen each other. I beg your pardon? Father? That's right. That's right. We got word he's finally getting a break from the job he was assigned to. We, we really get to see father? Of course, you silly. Isn't that why you rushed over here in the first place? Elise! Ah! My little princess. <laughs> I'm so happy you came out to see me. F father? Yes, what's the matter? Has it been so long that you've forgotten what your old man looks like? <laughs> Chief, please settle down. Miss Elise seems upset. Please put me down, okay? Elise isn't a little baby, you know. Ah, forgive me. I was just so happy to see you. <laughs> Sometimes Elise is so cute that you just want to pick her up and squeeze her. And I couldn't be a prouder dad. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect her. Anyone who dares to court her will go up against the highest standards. We know she's your sun, your moon, and your stars. You've said it so many times, I hear it in my sleep. Jurgen, you do realize you're the biggest oaf in the Kataro clan, right? Precisely why you picked me to be your right-hand man, Chief. Oh, guess your old pop owes you an apology, child. I got so tied up with work that I completely forgot to bring back souvenirs. But I shall make it up to you. Ask for anything you want, and it's yours. Anything? In the whole wide world? I can't think of anything. That's it! A bunnikins! Hmm? It's... it's for a friend of mine. Well, you've heard of bunnikins, right? Of course. Of course. Everyone with kids has heard of that toy. But those... Lady Drissel, would you mind if we were to rest for a bit before the briefing? Oh, of course. You both must be exhausted from your journey. Please, make yourselves at home. If only we had the time. Monster poaching is on the rise again in the Sapstrath Deepwood. The bastards seem to be after pelts this time. Those poachers have apparently been slipping through the Katarl clan's defenses. We need better strategies for catching them. Uh, I've directed the Merchants' Coalition to boycott the purchase or sale of poached goods, but... Banning them just boosts their value on the black market and the poachers aren't getting any less greedy. But we'll talk later, right, Elise? Everyone, please do try to rest up as much as possible. Tonight's the big reunion party. I just can't believe Zhao is my father. I know fractured dimensions are all funky, but can that really be true? Yes, in this dimension at least. Then I guess we had better find out more about Zhao. And quickly, things will be complicated when the Elise of this dimension arrives. Complicated can be an understatement. <laughs> you don't want to watch the skit? Oh. The big man is Elise's father? I don't know how I feel about that. But it seems quite clear that he cares very deeply for her. I don't think the me of this world knows the truth about who Zhao is and what he did to my real mother and father. <laughs> Zhao used to be one of Gaius's subordinates. He was a great man who also served as chief of the Kataro clan. But he also killed Elise's mom and dad. What? <laughs> Nevertheless, Zhao died protecting Elise. Whatever his past and his motivation to her, that fact is also true. For now, 
Let us do what we can to resolve this situation. There will be plenty of time to reflect upon it later. You're right. Thank you for helping me through. You too, Luger. Sorry to get all mushy on you. You no need to apologize. For we adults to be relied upon by others is a badge of honor. Of honor? That sounds kind of cool. Doesn't it? It means you can rely on us for anything. <laughs> That's nice to know. Anything, huh? How about we start with a nice neck rub? How could you do this to me, Jurgen? Chief, please, let me explain. What's going on? I caught Jurgen sending our defense strategies to someone over his GHS. Don't tell me you're on the take from those poachers, are you? Well, Jurgen wouldn't. He's our buddy. Jurgen, put me in touch with whoever got those plans. If he's not a poacher, you've got nothing to worry about, right? I... I... I'm so sorry, Chief. You have to forgive me. Jurgen? You're really a fink? But why? It's because of my wife. Hyla's condition just keeps getting worse. I needed the money so I'd be able to buy her the right medicine. Why didn't you just ask for my help? I would have, but the medicine she needs can only be made from protected monsters. That's why I betrayed you, but it's no excuse. Betrayal must be repaid in blood, no exceptions. I know the rules of the Kataral clan. So you're ready to accept your punishment? Let it at least be by my hand. No, wait! It's not his fault. Jurgen was only trying to save his wife. Out of my way. Zhao, uh, father, you're the chief, right? So you can bend the rules however you want. No, Elise. If anything, it's my responsibility as chief to honor the rules. But, but what if it was me who got sick? Didn't you say you'd do anything to protect me? Are your rules more important than I am? Jürgen, take me to where you meet these poachers of yours. Understand? Chief? It's all right. Don't worry. I just want to talk with them. I'll tell them that we will only allow the poaching of animals for Isla's medicine. Thank you, Chief. I can never repay you for this. Thank Elise for this. Not me. Lady Elise, thank you so much. I'm just happy things turned out okay. They're in the Sapstrath Deepwood, right? Yes, that's right. I'll lead you to them. I'm sorry you had to witness all of this. I hope that you'll keep it to yourself. What? It's Zhao! We've found our divergence catalyst. <laughs> we'll need to follow them. To the Sapstrath Deepwood, then. It was worth taking a look. See, I expect you a better answer, like, it doesn't mean I've done They're both true. These are actually the ventures are carefully designed to make life suck for your party. Duty to destroy the divergence catalyst. Let's try to find Zhao. Oh, no. 
ready to massacre Joe again. Except for I guess we didn't really massacre him back in. In Zillia 1, there was a lot of massacring involved in Joe, but it wasn't us massacring him. <laughs> <laughs> Jow was by far the hardest boss in Zillion. The four, are you? And one from Is there a problem? I don't know, we're always a really good character. There's a lot of sarcasm. Oh yeah, we need to cook the recipe before this fight. Something that keeps getting forgotten. Honestly, not a terrible thing to have, given that we're at the point where we can actually start really paying off the loan. It's returned with smacks. It'd be better if we replaced that M with a mid. That sounds like the big man! How dare you threaten me! Yurkin? He's dead! You fools! We're sorry! Please! We surrender! Please forgive us! No! What is the meaning of this? They got exactly what they deserved. These poachers tried to blackmail me. They said that if I didn't let them continue poaching, they would tell the world how the Kataro clan collaborated with them. What? The rules of the clan are absolute. It was a big mistake to bend them. But mistakes can be corrected. Were you the one who killed Jürgen? Yes, that's right. I killed him. And once I kill all of you, it'll be as if nothing ever happened. But, but... He isn't Zhao anymore. We have no choice but to destroy him. This is a nightmare! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! 